In my previous video, I interfaced FM receiver TEA5767 with ATtiny85 microcontroller and executed a sketch and C to play different FM stations. In this video, the project is modified by interfacing TM1637 module to display FM station frequency and stereo signal indicator. A circuit diagram of the modified project is shown here. We have the TEA5767 module interface with the ATtiny85 via the I2C line, serial clock line, and serial data line. And we have the TM1637 serially interface with ATtiny85 where the clock line is connected to pin PB3 and the data line is connected to pin PB4. And we also have a push button connected to pin PB1 of the microcontroller. Initially, the FM receiver is in standby mode and we see on the display the text off. We press the station button and the first FM station plays. We see the frequency of the FM station in megahertz and we see as the most significant digit the letter S indicating stereo signal. If there's nothing there, it means that the signal is mono. We press the station button to go to the next station and so on. We press and hold the station button for at least one second. This will put the FM receiver in standby mode and we see the letter off again on the display. A quick look at the sketch which is mostly written in C language. Within the setup function we call this function to initialize the TM1637. Inside this function we send the command byte 8F which will uh, put the display at uh, maximum brightness level and then we send the command byte 44 which will put the TM1637 in single address mode and then we call this uh, function to clear the display and inside this uh, function we use a for loop that will send uh, the command uh, needed to clear the four digit display. Inside function send byte we receive the byte to be transmitted to the TM1637. Within this function we first uh, assign PB3 and PB4 as output lines for the clock and DIO. We begin with the start condition and then we using the shift out function we shift out the byte least significant bit first. Once the byte is shifted out and sent to the TM1637 the microcontroller releases the DIO line so that the TM1637 can send the acknowledgement pulse so the microcontroller generates a ninth clock pulse for the acknowledgement and then the microcontroller reclaims the DIO line and then the microcontroller sends the end condition. Back inside the setup function and after we initialize the TM1637 we use this uh, function to initialize the ATtiny85 uh, universal serial interface for I2C communication and then we call this function to put the TEA5767 in standby mode. Inside the loop function, we check the status of the push button. Once pressed, we jump to this function. Inside the function, and using this piece of code, we measure the button press period. If this period is greater than 500 millisecond, it means we have a long press of the button, and we jump to function standby to put the TA5767 in standby mode. Otherwise, we jump to this function, it means that we have a short press of the button and we jump to function play station to play the FM station. In function I squared C right, we send the 5 bytes to the TA5767 and in function I squared C read, we read the 5 bytes. 
now we want to extract the stereo bit which is the most significant bit of the third byte and use it to display on the first digit of TM1637 the letter S for stereo so if the stereo bit is 1 then we sketch the letter S otherwise we turn off the digit of the TM1637 display Next we want to extract the 14-bit PLL word which is located in the first and second bytes. So we're using this uh, piece of code we get the 14-bit PLL word and then using the equation we calculate the frequency of the FM station in megahertz and then we extract the least significant digit of that frequency and then the mid digit and then the most significant digit and then using this piece of code we display the three digit uh, frequency value on the TM1637. Finally, inside function display station frequency, we receive uh, two values. We receive the address of the uh, digit to be displayed at and the digit value. And using a switch statement, we can display on that digit a numeral between 0 and 9. The circuit can be modified by replacing the TM1637 display with I2C based LCD. But that's another video. Thank you for watching.